This is CGTN, China Global Television Network. Hello and welcome to World Inside with me, Tian Wei, coming to you live from Beijing on CGTN. Coming up on today's program, Chinese air carriers canceled dozens of added flights to Taiwan during the busy Chinese Spring Festival over a dispute on new air routes. Is there a resolution in sight? And I get up close and personal with dancer turned TV host Jin Xing at the sidelines of the World Economic Forum in Davos. She talked about her career and her transformation as a woman. We want to begin our program today with cross strait ties. Earlier this month, the Chinese mainland opened several new air routes across the Taiwan Strait as the Chinese Spring Festival is approaching. Taiwan authorities, however, said it is, was done without an agreement and since withheld approval. They cited the flight safety concerns over the air route, but the Chinese mainland disputed such concerns. The flights were initially added to meet a spike in travel demand over the Chinese New Year. The flight cancellations would make it difficult for thousands of people to return home during the holiday season. Additional cross-strait flights for the festival have been a regular practice since the year 2008, when direct flights across the strait began. The Taiwan Affairs Office of the State Council from the mainland says the Chinese mainland will try to help them return home. The Taiwan authorities have sacrificed the people and business people in Taiwan as hostage in order to retaliate against mainland airlines, which seriously affects people on both sides of the strait, especially the rights of Taiwan residents to go back for the Spring Festival. It seriously lets down the needs of numerous tourists as well as tens of thousands of families. It is extremely stupid and unpopular. So what is the deal over dozens of canceled flights to Taiwan to help us make sense of the latest situation? We have with us here in our Beijing studio, Rong Ying, who is the vice president of the China Institute of International Studies. Welcome, sir. Also joining us in Taipei, Joanna Lei, former Taiwan legislator. Welcome as well. I want to start with you, Ms. Lei. Help us to go through the latest development, exactly what happened, why flights are being canceled. Well, certainly when mainland China decided to use M503 in a heavier traffic than previously agreed, um, DPP government has protested it and also sent clarification to international body like IATA and IATA has responded to Taiwan quite coolly, saying that this is an old route. And if there is any further negotiation in terms of this ICAO approved route, it has to go through Shanghai Flight Information Zone. So from the Taiwan perspective, there is no real international mediation or negotiation possibility. Therefore, they took a stronger position in not approving those additional flights bringing Taiwanese businessmen or students from mainland China back to Taiwan for the Chinese Lunar New Year. As a result, massive numbers of uh, flights have been canceled and it's estimated that 50,000 people will mm. not be able to travel back. From that point on, Taiwan has moved back to a risk management route saying that they will try to increase ferry from Xiamen to Jinmen or Mazu or to open additional seats from Pingkan to Taichung and Taipei. Right. But all these ferries will not be able to carry 50,000 people. So it is clear that a lot of people will not be able to join their family in a family reunification or in a family reunion by a festival. Right. As Ms. Lei just mentioned, so far China Eastern Airlines and Xiamen Airlines reported the cancellation of 176 round trip flights to Taiwan, which affected the 50,000 passengers. These flights were added to meet a spike in demand during the Chinese New Year when these people wanted to go back home but scrapped amid a roll over flight routes. Therefore, Mr. Rong, 
What can be done to these people? 50,000 people who are eager to go back home, get family reunion. This is the biggest holiday season in China every year. So are their rights of having a family reunion be deprived in a way? Yeah, it's uh, very, very unfortunate because these, I mean, uh, passengers, five, 50,000 uh, Taiwanese residents, they are Taiwanese. And because of the stupid, as I say, uh, as the, uh, the, uh, the mainland, um, I mean, the uh, Taiwanese Affairs Office officials said that they are being sacrificed. Mm. They are being, I think their rights have been undermined. So I, I think uh, I, uh, I would, uh, would, would uh, say that uh, if the Taiwanese authorities, relevant authorities, take into account, right. really take into account the interest, they should take the right decision and then by bring this issue or this dispute to the, in the right frame where is something I think uh, the, the, we have a ready, we have a right. rule, I mean, framework to address. So okay, don't Ms. politicize. Lei. Okay, Ms. Lei, it's here's the thing. I mean, what is the purpose of doing this? I mean, even though many of those people working here on the mainland are supporters of the Kuomintang <laughs> rather than the DPP. Mm. However, the DPP need to have a good political environment in Taiwan, and they need to have supporters. These people are intellectuals, these people are business people, these people are successful people. And therefore, if they, in a way, turn their back to these people, they're not likely to have a very bright political future in Taiwan, Ms. Lei. Well, I think DPP did make a wrong calculation in terms of this issue. They took a very strong position protesting M503 by sacrificing the benefits of Taiwanese traveling or working in mainland China. In addition to that, M503 was an old route. It was negotiated in 2015 during the time when cross-strait relations was rather peaceful and mainland China exercised restraints in bringing additional traffic through that route. So now when Taiwan protested it to international body, it also showed that the international bodies will not step into such a bickery. Mm. So all in all, this is a very sad example of DPP's miscalculation. But you think about that, I mean, from now on, this is going to be an issue. So is this only a start of a, you know, a series of spars likely taking place between the mainland and the Taiwan, or this is likely to be a single issue? I think that is the biggest concern, Mr. Rong. Well, I think it certainly it is, uh, it is a disturbing development uh, um, if we take into account the uh, overall relationship across the strait and particularly in the con I mean in the wake of the Taiwanese authorities f of uh, refusing to acknowledge mm. the one china principle and the 1992 consensus but uh, i think uh, let's bring back to the uh, specific issue of this uh, this issue which is these poor i think uh, uh, passengers and and uh, who would like to go back mm for family union and because of this, I mean, miscalculation, if I can say, the stupid moves that I think uh, from the mainland side, uh, the very purpose is to find a way to, ad to address the issue. And in the context that this, the, 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 uh, the flights, I mean, this part of the, uh, of, of the being, it's a huge problem, congestions, safety issues. So I think, uh, the, uh, the, the, and, and, and the uh, mainland civil aviation authority is, is doing, I think, the ri right thing and is doing what the international bodies, if I can say, the International right. uh, uh, Federation of Airline Pilots or, or, or that's been calling upon for the safety of the passengers, the safety of the sea. So I, 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 I only hope that the Taiwanese authorities, the DPP government, would they really take the right decision and find to address issues so that the relationship would not further deteriorate. Well, I'm not sure whether this is only about aviation or about the Spring Festival flights. Many say, Ms. Lei, this is likely to be a way to deter those coming from uh, Taiwan that is working closely, whether for business or other purposes with the mainland. Is this likely to be a concern for many people like you and others in Taiwan when you're having rather close working relationship with the mainland? 
Well, even personally, I know I have canceled two business trips due to lack of flights to come back to Taiwan. And a lot of people in my situation have also canceled their planned trips in business or other purposes. So it is a very clear signal that we may be looking at a colder winter for cross-strait relations, during which that easy travel will not be a given. Um, all the things that we enjoyed during the time when cross-strait relationship was in a peace development mode will probably be re-examined. We can no longer take these for granted. Hmm, interesting. Uh, earlier, uh, the mainland has been taking some very proactive steps toward the relations between the mainland and Taiwan. Mr. Rong, uh, now do we need to have a second thought when it comes to the future? No, I think the policy from mainland towards Taiwan remains consistent and clear. They just uh, concluded the, the conference for Taiwanese uh, for on Taiwan made very clear what they continue to do that. And and more importantly, uh, my understanding is that the uh, uh, the mainland will also will strive for uh, uh, making more efforts to make sure the Taiwanese would benefit from a stable relationship with the benefit from the development of the mainland. But, but, but it, it does take two Ro, to Ro, tangle. Let, let me just jump in here. It is not true. At this point, 50,000 men and women, they will not be able to return home, okay, during the Spring Festival. It is not benefiting these people at all. And these are important people, important ties between the mainland and Taiwan. So what's going to be done? And can the mainland just, uh, you know, stand and say, this is what we can do, and this is what we will do, Mr. Rong. Well, as far as I can, I understood that that the mainland side and the relevant authority are trying their best to help. For example, I think they have, have announced that they will increase the ferries. They also increase, make sure that they will help. I mean, the other the uh, airlines uh, uh, will help these uh, the, these uh, passenger. But the problem is that. It will take two, I think, to tangle. If mm. the Taiwanese authority is not responding in a positive way, and and I think it will, the, the, the difficulty will continue. Because, and also, the time is running out. I mean, the spring festival is just beside the order. And the more important, what disturbing me is that what Ms. Lei talked about is because the Taiwanese authorities are also uh, threatening that the. Uh, regular flights that may in the end uh, uh, affect, affect it. That is something very disturbing because uh, that was in the end it would undermine the, the, rela the relationship, in particular people to people relationship. And therefore, Ms. Lei, what can be done? I mean, uh, for those in Taiwan who want to have a closer working relationship uh, with the mainland, uh, what can be done? Well, there are massive protests in all walks of life. People are protesting why the government making decisions that's detrimental to the best interest of people in Taiwan. For example, even when people were routed to Xiamen, taking ferries to Jinmen, they still will not be able to fly back to main, to main, line, main island Taiwan. So it is very unlikely that this massive number of travel, travelers will be able to come through any other means, mm. any other ferry, any other routes, will not be able to bring them home for the new festival, New Year festival. But so people are protesting and asking DPP to really rethink their major policy, especially concerning the 92 consensus. Miss mm. Lei, uh, just further question. I mean, Taiwan understands very well when the ties between the mainland and Taiwan going to be harmed, it is very likely Taiwan will be further isolated. So uh, with that in mind, why would the Taiwan authorities in a way try to hurt itself and hurt the island? This is beyond, uh, in fact, uh, explanation, Ms. Lei. Well, I think that is a major debate in Taiwan. A lot of people argue with the government saying that for Taiwan not to be marginalized, the best route is to increase relationship with mainland China and not decrease. However, the current government is trying to work through all other possibilities, such as southbound or building relationship directly with other regions in order to circumvent a rising China. 
The difference is China is not simply too big economically, geographically, or political influence-wise. So it is almost impossible for Taiwan to circumvent all influence circles of mainland China and to be pragmatic and deal with uh, beneficial relationship across Taiwan Straits is something that the DPP government hasn't committed to and now is being challenged. Mm. Uh, Mr. Rong, uh, when it comes to the mainland side, uh, China and the United States, for example, we used to have an issue about the Taiwan, but now both sides seem to come to realization that this is a very important issue. And also, both sides have been sticking to some of the previous agreed status when it comes to this issue. So when you look at the, the Taiwan authorities from the mainland's perspective trying to make a fuss on um, issues like this, like the flights, bringing Taiwanese back to Taiwan Island in order to celebrate Spring Festival. This is, in a way, even laughable. Well, I think the, uh, the issues of Taiwan has always been uh, the most important and sensitive issue between the relation for the relationship between China and the United States. As you rightly said that over the past uh, decades, the two sides have reached a kind of cons understanding that how to manage these issues mm -hmm. in a way that they would, they would not uh, detrimental, would not uh, affect the overall relationship between the, uh, the two countries. And the, so you would find that when the new government, I mean, this has always been the case, but sometimes when the new administration from the United States come, took, takes over, there were some, I mean, uh, attempt to try to not, not change, but to try to uh, creating trouble or uh, try to get mm. you to learn about how to manage that. Okay. The Trump administration is a certain example, but uh, look at what happened in the, in the past year. So overall, I, in the end, it comes to the, to, the, to, the, to the right track and uh, into it, it, realizing okay. that this, rela this issue is too important and too sensitive. On that specific issues, I would like just to raise an, an uh, uh, side and a, a sort of observation by uh, a, a veteran uh, sort of uh, uh, ish, uh, observer for, for, okay, for briefly. The, yeah, yeah, which uh, he, he, I think he mentioned that his comment is this issue is, is it's not just a political issue. It is an attempt by the Taiwanese government, okay. the DPP, to, to, to politicize the issue in the sense that I, I my understanding is something but cut it uh, in, using the English I, I, I saying that they cut the nose to spite the face. All right. Uh, before we go, 30 seconds for you, Miss Lei. Where are we going from here? Well, people are struggling to cope with the new situation. I certainly can only pray that those people can come home through whatever means. But only a direct negotiation across Taiwan Straits can hopefully open those possible canceled flights and bring them home. So DPP government will have to face this issue straight on. It is the Spring Festival. Come on, this is Lunar Chinese New Year. Make sure those people can go back home. Thank you so much, the two of you, Joanna Lei and Rong Ying, really appreciate it, thank you. Stay with us here on World Inside with me, Tian Wei, still to come on our program. I sit down with pioneering artist Jin Xing amid the snowy snopes of Davos to talk about her career as a seminal performer and her experience as a woman, always in transition, right after this break. episode of Travelogue, the wonders of Wuhan, the beating heart of central China. Buzzing with energy, this port city is a hotbed of history and culture. There's just so much to see and do, so make sure you hop aboard for one lively adventure.
China Global Television Network from broadcast centers in Beijing, Washington, and Nairobi. A unique global perspective. Six channels and a video content service. News when you want it and where you want it. On TV screens, websites, mobile platforms, and social media. CGTN. See the difference. Welcome back. You're watching World Inside with me, Tian Wei, coming to you Monday to Friday on CGTN. Everyone has his or her choice to live as their heart tells them, to be true to who they are. On the sidelines of the World Economic Forum in Davos, I caught up close and personal with a special person who chose to follow her heart no matter the odds. She went through a sex reassignment operation in the year 1995 to become a woman. This was unimaginable at that time and raised a whole of controversy. But because of her personal charisma, she won the hearts of many. She is not only an artist, but also a host, a drama performer, and the mother of three adopted children. Among the snowy mountains in Davos, she tells me her personal story and her career as well. Before we go to the interview, take a look at this. She puts on many hats as a mentor, drama performer, and host. But of all these, Jin Ching identifies most as a dancer. She takes pride and confidence in showing the grace of a seasoned performer on the floor. In her mind, dancing is her passion and profession. Jin Ching is one of China's most prominent modern dancers. She is the pioneer of the modern Chinese dance and went on to win many international awards. In 1999, she founded the Jinxing Dance Troupe, which is the first private modern dance group in China. She not only served as a choreographer of the dance troupe, but also as the lead performer. For more than a decade, the Jinxing Dance Troupe promoted and popularized modern dance. In 1995, Jinxing had a sex reassignment operation, which drew great controversy. But she was unfazed and kept her eye on her art. Besides dancing, she worked as a host and a drama performer. The TV show she once hosted was very popular in China. Her new drama, The Father, which also starred Zhao Lixin, was just recently released. Now she's relishing a new role as the mother of three adopted children as she turns a new leaf in life. From the single woman become a three children's mother, that's a big changing for me. Actually, completely changing my concept, vision of life. How? Because before I was a single lady, enjoy my life and enjoy the stage, the ballerina, the success, the fame, the 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 you know the tension. But somehow, when the new sweet life come to my life, bring me down to the earth and tell you have a beautiful your private time on stage, but the real life. Like this. That's mm -hmm. a beautiful change. That's a beautiful change and also very different personalities. Yes. In two different lives. I think so. I, I did I never expecting I become a mother. That's I for me it's a it's a life gift to me. I become a three children's mother and to take a responsibility for the three innocent life. It's a beautiful mm -hmm. gift. So completely changing my vision of life really. But I understand that raising three children is not an easy task. Yes, I it's think I learned that. They you adopt the three of them. I adopt the three children, mm -hmm. yes. But you know, for China, adoption is still not necessarily a very common thing. Very difficult. I think the mentality of Chinese society is still individual family oriented, adopting another, no blood connections. Mm -hmm. People, they always feel you give a lot, then you don't get any return back. That's a Chinese mentality. But for me, 
I want to be myself, what I didn't know, I become mother of mm -hmm. three. Then I said, this is such a gift, I only take the responsibility. I didn't expect anything return back. For me, it's very open to another dimension of life. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot from how I raised the three children, teaching me a lot about the real life. Like what? Compromising. <laughs> Before I was a single diva on stage, I, everybody look at me, I don't yeah. need a compromising, but uh, become a mother of three, you need a compromise, you need to swallow a lot of un a difficult things, then it's swollen and digested. Mm. They always bring the beautiful right. smile to the children. Let them know life continue go on. Tomorrow right. will be better. Yeah. Are you a responsible mother or what? <laughs> I do, but I was the tough mother. I see. In my family, I was tough the, uh, love? Yeah, tough love. I, I give her kids a lot of you know, rules. Mm. Yes. Some certain things I give her a lot of space, but certain times they need to respect the rules. Right. You always, can I say that? volunteer to put yourself into the most difficult situations. Yes, yes, you can Let's say that. Let's just start from the sexual transmission operation. Yes. You did something nobody else is there to come out and say. Yes. It was so rare in China, yeah. even today. How did you have the gut to do it? I think I have a full of respect for myself for this life because I know Life will put me in different situation, but do I have the guts to correct it, to become truly myself, mm -hmm. from my soul, from my mind, from my body, everything? Then I said, if I have the guts, also I have the right to receive the gift from life. Mm -hmm. So for this gift, I can sacrifice a lot. You are your own little world, right? You create all these positive energy around yourself, I trying think, to think in the most positive I way. I think so. Even I facing my enemies who somebody hate me on the, you know, want to fight with me. But I say the positive side. Why he want to fight with me? Mm. What did he gain? What did he? I'm losing. If I fight with him, even I'm lost. I gain the experience. Of why I'm weak this this part? Mm. I always see the positive side. So I never face afraid of any challenging. Maybe also part of my education. You could say that easily today. But at the time when you just had the operation, it's not the same thing. Not the same thing. When you I went through hell. I know. When I'm out of the hospital, the minutes, whole society, whole the people ex turn ex against you. Turn against me and always back. Then I said, okay, just give me some time. I'll be proved my independent individual choice deserve equal respect. Just give me time. I'm still the beautiful dancer on stage. I'm still the true person at Jin Xing. I didn't change my name. Mm -hmm. So just give me time. And people turning around, turning around, turning around, and gave me the smile, gave me a big hug. Mm. That's give me more confidence mm. So facing all the challenges. But how did you went through every stage of it? Particularly, you know, after the operation, the pain itself, and also the prejudice against you. Yeah. It's not just one day they would change their attitude. Yeah. And sometimes you have to be in a way in a comfort zone so that you know that even though you're alone, you can be with yourself. Yes. But how could that happen? It just do not come naturally. No, no, I don't no. Believe so. No, no, it's not come naturally. You actually life it teach you, told you how to become that. I sound I, like a philosopher today. No, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> life like yes, exactly. Then no, I'm when I've been through a terrible time, mm. I also like a normal people. I'm crying. I just like a whole my body sucking with all the any energy. Mm front of my eyes, I can't believe it, no hope, no vision. But I always thinking, okay, this is not the end of the world. Mm. If don't How did you know? I, if I'm still breathing, next morning I'm still wake up, that means I still have the chance. Mm. So, okay, what can that be? Some people may be better than you, some people may be worse than me, but it's okay, everybody taking their life. Mm. You made your choice, why you complain? Mm. Nobody forced you to change your sex. Right, at that point, were you gradually realizing all of these things that you're telling me? Yes, that uh, I've learned that uh, because of the, you are the unique one, mm. you have to go to unique eternal to get all your uh, unique experience. Then you become the unique, the only Jinxing. Mm. Without this experience, you are just like other ordinary. No, you want to be special, you need a special treatment. The community of LGBT in China yeah. is still something that is very controversial in the society. Yes. 20 years ago, when you went through the operation, your father was one that is mm. definitely against it. But now, do you think 20 years later, those who have similar fate as you do mm -hmm. would experience the same thing? I think the situation is getting better. But of course, 20 years ago, when I done that, not that many cases, not that many reference people to knowledge about these issues. Now people have a much more awareness about the LGBT 
group and the minority of a decision's choices, I think uh, now it's uh, slowly growing up, popping up. That's also bring a lot of society tensions to it. It's, mm. In a way, it's good. In a way, also difficult. Mm. Mm. A lot of attention, yes, is paying to the LGBT yeah. community. Yeah. Is it mainly curiosity? You know about something that's different from us, yes. or is it a willingness to be together with that community? No, I think a lot of curiosity, also the prejudice as well. But I think you have to, before the environment become a very healthy environment, suitable environment, I think you have to sure yourself make the right choices. Don't confuse with yourself. Always confidence in who you are. Mm. This is most important. Then you turn into the positive attitude, turn into a society. The, environment mm. you're living in. Mm. Yeah. But Chinese culture traditionally used to be quite inclusive, yeah. including to the LGBT community. Yes. In our yeah. ancient, uh, uh, for example, novels, there yes. were some mm. description of that. Yeah. So what about now? Have we changed or do you think things will come back? Maybe we'll be once again more inclusive than we than we are today? I think so because China opened for 30 years for the economic sense of opened to the whole world, showing the real China. But at the same time, we have imported a lot of idea of Western concept. Mm. For example, everything become labelized. Everything the group labelized, everything put people in the category. I think, why don't you just leave it? Let it be. Let people choosing. I want this group. I, maybe I want, after a few years, I want to change to this group. Let them be free to be it themselves. Right. I think that's part of the Chinese culture, ancient culture. We do have that space for people. Some, certain things we don't want to talk about it. Just mm. let it be. That's part of China. Not like a Western country. Everything put on the table one by one. Yeah. That's so, a, so that means even though China do not have legislations mm. to so called in a way give the legal status of the LGBT yeah. community, mm. but in a way it is sitting through it peacefully. Of course. Is of that course. what you meant? Exactly. That's I think in my case, people always think why don't you do more for the LGBT group? I think I'm Myself in China, what I'm doing to everything, already big statement mm. for the group. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also on the issue of LGBT community, yeah. you once said, thank you, if you understand me. Yes. Mm. It's OK if you don't. Yes. Well, it's easier said than done, isn't it? Yes, not easy to say that. You know, requires a lot of confidence to say out that word. I think before I make my decision choices in my case, I did ask if a society, everything's ready for me. I said, I make myself the best. Mm -hmm. And use my personal driven, existing attitude, changing your attitude, maybe your disunderstanding, maybe discrimination, everything, I accept it, but give me some time, mm -hmm. then I'll be changing your opinions. That's, I think, the positive image, sure, of yourself is mm -hmm. most important, instead of asking all the environment ready for you. Yeah. Is this issue still important to you at all? No, I think it, because I got a lot of confidence from my children. You know, my existing China, everything positive feedback and the negative feedback, everything I received from my Weibo. Even my children, they are old enough to get in the Weibo. The criticism about their mother, they can get it every day. But more <laughs> my children coming back, one day, I remember clearly on the TV, they announced my name, the world-known Chinese uh, transgender modern dancer and the kids look at the TV say, they are so pathetic mom <laughs> I said why you say that they couldn't get over this right yes it's, then I, I look at my children 11 years old can say that word give me big comfort and confidence they are great kids yeah wonderful. I have to say they are great yeah, kids yeah wonderful it, there has to be a mother behind them that could Thank be you. this kind of kid like even the classmate up. asked them, say, do you know your mother was transgender they said so what she's still my mom great yes. wow then I said yeah, then I said, oh, thank you. That's, I think, because I want to be a stronger yeah. and much more, you know, yeah. you say that I'm doing a lot of things. Sometimes the society could be very crucial. Yeah. I wanted they grown up, they are proud of their mother. Instead of they become, you know, yeah. one of two or against them. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think I tried my best. Yeah. And she is trying her best. Recently, Jin Xin was busy with her new drama, The Father. She's been busy as a choreographer, TV host, program judge, drama performer, and dancer. I asked her how she managed to juggle all these roles at the same time. You went from modern dance to TV host. Yes. <laughs> and now you take a new challenge to act on the stage. Yes. So one after another, why? The curiosity drives me to 
take the challenge and challenging myself. It's not challenging other people, challenging myself. Mm. And after I overcome, then I gain from the experience for life. That's why I always say I have quite a positive attitude turning to life. After that, anything yes. wouldn't be a problem. Yes, no problem. I think of coming and go and taking and giving, everything's normal, just how I'm dealing with that. Mm. And I think uh, also, a people, if they know, they never met me in person, they have a different idea about the Jinxing, you know, the wandering around. But when they meet me, the, my eyes, the truly look and the way I talk, mm. people say, this is a true person. Mm. That's, I think, convince people, convince society. That's why I become a dancer, can be a TV host, I have mm -hmm. such a popular TV talk show. So people, they feel that uh, the mm -hmm. person talks with their heart. Mm -hmm. It's not like just grabbing some tests, saying out. It's I really, everything through my heart. You know, every profession you took on, from a contemporary dancer yes. to a TV talk show host, yes. scrutinizing some of the most well-known person yeah. in today's world, yeah. particularly in China, yeah. none of this is done easily. You have to go through a negotiation process. You have to negotiate yeah. with the rest of the country rest of the world, and yeah. the rest of the environment, I Exactly, guess. environment. So that's another kind. It's not like the pain of the operation. No, 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 no. It's not like dragging yourself out of the hell. No, a lot of us psychologically being strong and determined. <laughs> and the, the Tell me more about that. No, because I think the whole my life training before 28 years, 30 years of dancing on stage with all the world, my body language already training me in the perfect expression. Then transport to oral language of communications, my eyes, my expression, my body yeah. language tells what my mean about it. Mm. Art of the communication. Mm. I think I fully in my hands. Mm. I got this tool. Right. Then communicate with people and never forget your truly heart. That's even I talk with all the celebrities. I'm just deep dealing with the matter, Let's never take a person. I'm not the, against the person sitting next to me. I said, well, the matter, the yeah. issue, I'm not agree with. In your dance expressions, you are direct. Yes. You want to say it with strength, and yeah. also with a lot of uniqueness. Yeah. In your talk show, mm. you are more than direct. Yes, 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 yes. You ask some of the toughest questions yes. to the celebrities. Yes. And as a result, you might offend one or two, or even the group. Yes, yes, of course, they are fans, they are groups sometimes, but they know my motivation is that there. It's not targeting people, make people uneasy. I don't get any benefit. I don't get any happy of that. Mm -hmm. I'm just talking about the issue I'm dealing with. I want to get the opinion. The great show on TV, I think for TV audience, is uh, you have a program, you have a platform, you give your opinion, attitude, like the viewer, audience, to make a judgment. Mm -hmm. I think in this modern society, who going to teach whom? Who going to educating, except your parents educating you when you are young? But we do have the way to exchanging our view and opinion mm -hmm. through this platform. Then let me make audience make a judgment. Even I launching my Chinese dating show, everything's put there, let people make decisions. What kind of lives are you choosing? One of the reasons many people love watch some of your shows is because you talk directly, particularly you talk about women's issue very directly. Yeah. For example, you describe how men should improve themselves in order to keep up with the wonderful women these yes, days yes, who yes. have been progressing so much. Yes. And as a result, you might offend one half of the world. <laughs> so people think this is a person with a lot of guts. Have you been planning about this when you are saying this? Or it is just coming out very naturally? Actually coming out my naturally. Actually all my top topic in my talk show, I coming out with my experience, but I want to talk about it. And maybe I defend, offended some, some, some peoples. But for the new generation, right. they learn that from f female point of view, the eyes, we, we wish you could be better, mm. better man, better for the, everything, so in the good run. So I think people, when it's a tough word, but after the show, they feel that, okay, that's the right things. It is not always the smoothest time. No, no, not at all, no, no, no. In our life, uh, when it comes to modern dance, yes. you went through some ups and downs, yes. whether performance could be held. Yes. And when it comes to other, formats, yes. including TV shows and drama, probably mm -hmm. you will run into the very similar situation. Even my son said, don't you want to get angry? You should be you're fuming. I said, no, actually the perfect time, good, everything happened is good moment. Mm. Mommy need a little bit of rest and see the real audience, how they respond. Mm. They are really responding to my show. They like my show. Yeah. And also keep myself at distance. After three years run this, you know, all the topic, you need to refresh yourself. Then I said, perfect. Mm. That was a, I, oh, 
my even my husband, even myself clap for me. So you get it, mature and mature. I say yes. I take things easy. That's Jin Sheng, a well-known modern dancer, choreographer, actress, and TV host. Before we go, I asked Jin Sheng also about her confidence in Chinese culture. Here is her reply. And we talk about the cultural confidence yeah. these days a lot. What should we be confident about? If that is a question I can put to you, and what part of our history do you think is most fascinating to you? I think our Chinese have enough confidence, just wait. Culture. Culturally, yeah, enough confidence because we don't need to say the 5,000, 6,000, whatever, it, you know, counting the time. No. Before we use a culture much more in the propaganda way to let people know what is existing, but now we don't have to because the whole world is turning ahead, looking at China, trying to learn, get connected with China. Mm. I think for us, the most powerful is the cultural influence naturally be there. Mm. Our philosophy, our Chinese way to special the way of breathing. Why everything take time in China? Because that's our philosophy. Our t attitude to new to life is different. Mm. And also Chinese thinking always around, never square, never diagonal. Everything around, mm. turning around. That's the life of philosophy. Mm. So if you want dealing with China, so that doesn't matter with business, or economic and cultural, everything, you have to be understanding mm. and face the real picture of China. How are you going to face all the difficulties? What is the best remedy? Is time the best way? Mm. Is patience the best way? Mm. Or is just direct yourself to another direction and try something new the best way? I don't know. This is a very good question. Sometimes I'm asking myself, even my husband asks me, what is next? But I said, I don't know. That's a quality, beauty about life. You don't know what's happening. Just waiting for the curtains to open. Mm -hmm. You open your window curtain. Maybe you'll see a sunshine day. Yeah. Maybe you'll see a raining day. But doesn't matter. Facing it. Always a new challenge, new chapters. What a pleasure, Jinxing, to have you here Thank on you. our program. Well, that is all the time we have for today. If you want to see more, you can certainly visit our website. Just try to find us, World Inside CGTN, into your search engine or check out our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Sina Weibo. From me, Tian Wei, and everyone on the World Inside team, thanks for watching and tune in again next time for insights across China and around the world. Have a great weekend, everyone.